Hello everyone, I'm Prashant Ramadas, a PhD student at the Dynamic Interaction Control Lab in Italian Institute of Technology. I'll be presenting to you the paper titled Diligent KIO, a proprioceptive base estimator for humanoid robots using extended Kalman filtering on matrix leak groups. A common approach for developing locomotion controllers for humanoid robots is described here. It involves a high-level planner and controller generating desired center of mass and feed trajectories. These are then passed on to a whole body controller which creates the necessary actuation commands that allows the robot to generate motion. In order to be robust to model uncertainties and unpredictable environments, a floating base estimator that fuses distributed sensors information from the robot deems necessary. In particular, the estimator should augment these feedback controllers by providing low latency state estimates with reduced drifts at high sampling rates, all owing to the complex geometry of the underlying floating base system. Early works in filtering based proprioceptive state estimation for legged robots fused information from an IMU, leg kinematics, and contact sensors using a quaternion based extended Kalman filter to obtain the pose and velocity of a quadrupedal robot along with foot positions and IMU biases. These point foot model based estimators were then extended to the humanoid robot's flat foot scenario to include rotational constraints of the foot in contact with the environment. Recently increasing research interest in the theory of Lie groups has enabled the synthesis of elegant nonlinear state estimation methods. A latest work exploits this theory to develop an invariant extended Kalman filter that provides stronger convergence and consistency properties for state estimation. In line with the previous works, we propose a discrete Lie group extended Kalman filter for kinematic inertial odometry, in short, diligent KIO. It can be considered as a matrix Lie group based formulation of the previously mentioned flat foot filter. This method fuses information from a similar measurement set of encoders, an IMU, and contact sensors to estimate the base pose and linear velocity along with the feet poses and IMU biases. While holding the assumptions that the IMU is rigidly attached to the base link of the robot and at least one foot is in contact at all instants of time. While we maintain the same prediction and measurement models as the previously mentioned flat foot filter, the main difference in our work lies in the modeling choice of the estimation problem. We consider that both the state and the observations evolve over distinct matrix Lie groups. While the state evolves over a composite manifold constructed through a direct product of different sub-manifolds, the measurements evolve over the Lie group of SE3 during single support and a direct product of two SE3 objects for double support. This modeling choice leads us to use a discrete Lie group extended Kalman filter, which is an EKF algorithm generalized to work across matrix Lie groups. In an overly simplified description, a Lie group can be considered as a set of similar elements that always respect some constraints imposed on them, represented here by the smooth gray surface G. At any point on G, we can associate a tangent space represented by the blue planes. The tangent space at the identity element of the Lie group is called the Lie algebra. Further, the Lie algebra can be associated with a vector space through bijective mappings, where all sorts of calculus operations can be performed. In short, Lie groups can be considered as curved smooth surfaces that locally resemble a linear space. It also comes with specific operator definitions that allows moving from one space to the other. Matrix Lie groups are a special case of Lie groups. Most commonly used matrix Lie groups in robotics are the group of rotations and rigid body transformations. A similar extension to also encapsulate the linear velocity gives us the group for extended poses. A notion of uncertainty over matrix Lie groups can be obtained by using the concept of concentrated Gaussian distributions. For a random variable x in G, this uses a definition where the mean is defined on the Lie group and the covariance is defined on the Lie algebra. This remains a reasonable representation until the eigenvalues of the covariance matrix P associated with the perturbation vector epsilon remains small. We consider the discrete dynamical system that propagates the state x from instant k to k plus 1. 
omega is the left trivialized velocity which represents the motion model of the system with u being the control inputs while w being the Gaussian noise acting on the system dynamics expressed in the vector space of the state with associated covariance q. The observations z evolving over distinct matrix Lie groups g prime are related to the state through the measurement model h of x affected by Gaussian noise n expressed in the vector space of observations with associated covariance capital N. Without getting into the details of the equations, it can already be observed that the general structure of the filter equations for the EKF over matrix Lie groups seems a generalization of the standard EKF. The differences lie mainly in the computation of innovation, relevant Jacobians, and the propagation of covariance along with state reparameterization. For a more detailed explanation and references, please refer to the paper. Coming back to the problem of diligent KIO, as mentioned earlier, the state representation comprises of the direct product of different submanifolds. The base rotation R, position P, and linear velocity V are encapsulated within the extended base post Lie group, while foot rotations Z and positions D are described by SE3 poses. The suffixes L and R correspond to the left and right foot respectively. The IMU biases B for the accelerometer and gyroscope are also included in the state as a part of a translation group of dimension 6. The elements of this composite manifold represent our state. The evolution of the base pose is described by a rigid body kinematics model based on a strap down IMU rigidly attached to the base link. The accelerometer and gyroscope measurements affected by slowly time varying biases and additive white Gaussian noise are passed as exogenous inputs and are used to compute the alpha and omega seen in the equations. A constant motion model is considered for the foot pose assuming the holonomic constraints imposed by the foot when making a rigid contact with the environment, assumed to be affected only by noise. The covariance associated with this noise is dynamically scaled to very large values when the foot is in swing phase, thereby reducing the trust in this constant motion model. Finally, the IMU bias dynamics are also considered as constant and affected only by noise. A Lie-Euler based integration is used to propagate the system dynamics with delta t being the sampling period. For the measurement model, we use the noisy encoder measurements to compute the relative kinematics between the base link and the support foot through the forward kinematics map during single support and double support. These observations relate directly to the states corresponding to the base pose and the foot pose. The noise affecting the relative poses is related to the encoder noise through the manipulator Jacobian J. For relevant Jacobian computations of the prediction model and measurement model, please refer to the paper. The experiments were conducted on the iCub humanoid platform. The robot is mounted with the XNS MTI IMU on its base link streaming measurements at 100 Hz. The encoder measurements were available at 1 kHz but subsampled to 100 Hz. The contact states for the feet were obtained through a Schmidt trigger based thresholding of contact normal forces estimated by a whole body dynamics algorithm. During the experiment, the robot was equipped with mounts containing reflective markers to gather ground truth from a motion capture system. For a comparison with the state of the art, we used the flat foot filter mentioned earlier. It is also called as Observability Constraint EKF, in short, OC EKF. We also use the point foot model based invariant EKF, in short, in EKF. Additionally, we implement a simple weighted averaging method or SWA that fuses information from legged odometry and IMU orientation using an averaging in SO3 rotation space and uses a weighted pseudo inverse computation for velocity estimation. We first perform a position control walking experiment where ICUP walks in forward direction for approximately 1 meter as seen in the video at the top left. The evolution of roll and pitch angles of the base link along with the position estimates for the walking experiments is shown in the plots in the left column. We also evaluate the filters on a torque controlled sinusoidal center of mass trajectory tracking experiment as seen in the video at bottom right. The relevant plots are shown in the rightmost column. In both cases, it can be seen that diligent KIO 
performs comparably with the state of the art. The noticeable drifts in the position estimates for the walking experiments remain within a very small percentage of the total distance traveled for all the filters. We compute the absolute trajectory error and the relative force error in the left invariant sense for both walking and COM sinusoid experiments. In general, it can be noticed that diligent KIO performs slightly better than the state-of-the-art methods for the orientation and velocity estimates. While diligent KIO seems to perform comparably with the other filters for position estimates, it somehow suffers from position drifts more than the other filters for long-duration experiments. We also verify the filter convergence qualitatively for randomized initial states. This comparison is made between the flat foot filters OCEKF and diligent KIO. These estimators are run for 25 trials with the same measurements, noise parameters and prior deviations but with random initial orientations and linear velocities. The roll and pitch Euler angles for setting the initial orientation were uniformly sampled from minus 30 degrees to 30 degrees, while the initial linear velocities were sampled from minus 0.5 meters per second to 0.5 meters per second. Delusion KIO is seen to converge faster and towards the true state in these observable directions. In conclusion, we propose a proprioceptive floating base estimation method formulated using the theory of matrix Lie groups that shows fast convergence for flat foot filters. A comparable performance is demonstrated with respect to the other state-of-the-art methods. A possible limitation may involve the filter becoming inconsistent since the linearized dynamics remain state-dependent differently from the invariant DKF formulation. In this case, an additional observability-based constraint needs to be introduced. An investigation in this direction could be a possible future work.